Hey guys, you know that I like to share my packing type videos, so I figured I would share this one too, just because it is somewhere different, and it's always interesting to see how it ends up for me. Um, I'm a very late packer, very late packer, and even with how light I pack, I still sometimes find that there's maybe one or two things that I don't end up wearing, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because it's nice to have something just in case, but um, pretty much everywhere we travel to, Worst case scenario, there's a store of some sort. Not every place we go to, but most places there are, um, there is the ability to get something if need be. So we are going to be traveling with our backpacks. I can't reach mine. I can reach his. Um, he has the big version of mine. So we'll be traveling with our backpacks, which we normally do. I was recording earlier and my camera was on that side, but I had to plug my phone in. So I'm sorry if I keep looking like at the bottom of my phone. Uh, so we'll have our backpacks and we always pack just a little bit of space in the event that we go shopping and we are planning to do a little bit of shopping this trip. Um, not a whole lot, but I like in packing for this trip, I realized I don't really have a really nice summer thing. So figured, okay, well maybe we could do a little of that. Um, should be inexpensive. We'll see. So we are going to be going to South Korea for a day day. It's a layover situation. Um, so we'll be in Seoul for a day, which is fabulous. I'm so excited to see it. Problem, it's cold there. And where we're ultimately going, not cold. So we are bringing jackets. And I found some really inexpensive jackets that from Costco that were on sale that we can donate after the fact. However, I'm always cold on a plane. So I'll be carrying that on. Um, hopefully I can do a separate video of what I have in my carry on for an international flight. So we have an hour and a half flight to get to uh, San Francisco. From San Francisco, we are flying to Seoul, which is a 13 hour flight. And it's gonna be cold there. <laughs> we're gonna spend a day in the cold, 30 degrees or whatever. And then from there, we're gonna fly down to Singapore. And from Singapore, we're gonna go to a town called Krabi, from Krabi to Bangkok and then back home. Hot there, hot, so it's summertime. It is not summertime here. So I had to pull out all my summer clothes, which is not fun in the winter, uh, bathing suits included. So I'm going to show you what I'm packing. I'm basically going to pack for maybe a week. We'll do laundry in the middle or wear it twice. We've gotten really good at sink laundry on vacation just because I don't like to carry around luggage. I hate packing stuff. I hate carrying stuff. I like the simplicity of just being able to throw it in the overhead bin and move on. Like it's just my favorite. So um, I don't like to bring stuff and lug it around another country for the fun of it. I don't know. It's just not my thing. So I'm going to show you what I'm packing for the trip. One of my best packing tips is to bring a bottom and then two tops for the bottoms. So this is my nice pair of shorts that I'm bringing. These are just like a pair of olive shorts. And to go with those, I have this shirt, which is like just a, you know, basic whatever shirt. And then I also have this shirt. My boyfriend likes the shirt. I'm like, this is one that if I don't wear a shirt, it's going to be this one. I just don't feel like it does much for me. Uh, as sheer as the fabric is, I mean, you can see through it, it's not that cool. So it doesn't breathe very well, but matches the shorts. It's a little bit nicer if we want to go to dinner. It's got some sleeve action. So that's, this is one part. Okay. My favorite kind of clothing. <laughs> Comfy clothes. Go figure. If you couldn't tell. Um, I'm going to bring a pair of just good old athletic shorts. With these shorts, I've got a blue t-shirt and a gray tank top. So I've got those. Oh, by the way, so the stuff that I'm going to be wearing, I'm always cold on airplanes. I'm always cold anymore, really. Uh, always cold on planes. So I'm going to bring the jacket and then, you know, the pants and whatever. And I'm just going to wear that on the plane. And then I can wear it home on the plane. He's probably going to donate his jacket. I'm probably not because I'm like, I don't. I actually kind of like the jacket um, and that way I'm not cold on the way home <laughs> because I'm always so cold on a plane and I like find myself in this like tiny ball, but I've gotten better about it throughout time and I, I plan accordingly. Um, I'm also going to bring these comfy shorts, just another pair of shorts. These ones are slightly snugger than the other two pairs, but to go with those, I've just got a t-shirt, 
and a tank top. So I've got that. Um, these types of things wash very well in the sink, like in hotels. <laughs> I know this is not everybody's cup of tea. Don't worry. I, I'm no judgment. Um, I've also got a pair of just really old capris and these are, there's supposed to be a lot of thunder showers and I'm like, I doubt I'll be cold ever, but just in case it's an option or when we go hiking or whatever, um, bringing a dress, two dresses actually to like go out in, go out to eat in. I got this one. We got our family pictures done in this one. I like it because it's comfortable and it's cute and it works with the bras. So bras, as any woman knows, is kind of a pain in the butt. So you have to have bras that can go underneath multiple things. They're like the biggest thing that I pack. Even my bathing suits, like the biggest thing that I pack. And it's so annoying. Um, okay. One other dress I'm bringing, and this was kind of a last minute. This is like a, oh, I'd probably buy one, but it might be nice to just go with one, this dress here. So what I like about this dress is it's very stretchy and I can wear it with just a pair of flip-flops. So I'm only going to bring, uh, I'm going to wear my tennis shoes on the plane. So if we have any long walking days, which I'm sure we do, we walk a lot on vacation. Um, we like to just explore on foot. It's just, it's our get down. Occasionally we rent bikes, but we are big like walkers. So these are my cuter flip-flops. This is my fancy footwear. And these are my endurance flip-flops. Thank you, Costco. And then I'll also have my tennis shoes. Additionally, okay, this is where I'm kind of at a, I need to make up my mind fast because we're leaving and I'm not back yet, all the way. Um, we have a New Year's Eve party that we're going to be going to. And it's a white party. Super cool. Let me tell you, I look great in white dresses. Not at all. I wish I had a butt. Uh, so I found this dress on Amazon. Yay for that. It has this nice little tiny piece of material for the bra part. You can see it because it's so see-through. The rest of it though, I'm glad it's going to be dark because I'm like, oh gosh. Uh, my boyfriend has a white tux that he has to carry. I'm like, <laughs> um, so I have to decide if I want to bring uh, heels or if I just want to plan to buy some there. I'm in the market for new black heels. I need a new pair. I've had the same ones for like six years, seven years, um, long before my boyfriend and I were together. And I got them used. So they're like really... They need to be replaced. Um, they're so broken in that they're loose. And like, if I walk fast, they'll fall off my feet. How awful is that? Uh, so I'm in the market. Some part of me is just kind of like, well, I don't want to have to end up carrying home, bringing home two pairs of black heels. He's not bringing shoes. I don't think I'll bring shoes, but I've got this dress too. And this dress will be used one time and then it will never be worn again. It's scary, guys. Oh my gosh. It's so, it's so sheer. It's like one of those dresses. It's a no underwear dress. Can't wear them. Can't wear nude underwear because you can see them. You can see everything. You can see the scar on my butt from when I broke my femur. Look, why did I do this? I bought so many dresses on Amazon though, and this was the best fitting one. It's going to be dark, but it is. It's from Amazon and it was like 20 or 30 bucks. I don't remember. I bought a lot. Okay, bras. I'm bringing a couple sports bras and then I'm going to bring another bra these are great because they can fit underneath all those t-shirts and tank tops that I have. They're comfortable. They're fine. Um, I'm bringing two bathing suits. <coughs> Do I need to? No, but something I hate, this is where like my, my demon is kicks in. I do not like getting into a wet bathing suit. It's awful. Like, can you think of anything worse than bringing an ice cold bathing suit up your body? No, it's horrible. So I, I mean, there's obviously worse, but so pleasant. I'm going to bring this one. This is an Amazon buy. I love this bathing suit. I will leave these in the description below. If you're interested in this bathing suit, which by the way, you should be, it's amazing. Um, or the white dress. I'll leave both of those down below. So this bathing suit, actually, you know what? I think I got this staticky on Amazon too. Look at the switch. <laughs> See if it'll do it again. Nope. It's stuck to something else. Uh, ugh. I think I got, I don't know that you want that, but I got that on Amazon too, I think. Um, this bathing suit is so flattering. Okay, here's what I love about it. It was cheap, which 
obviously I'm going to love that. Um, it's supportive and it doesn't put pressure on your neck. So if you're big busted, if you have a, if you're busty at all, I don't even know, maybe even if you're not very busty, but those Thai bathing suits, oh, instant headache. They just like pull. It's like having somebody just like leaning into your neck constantly. It's awful. So I can't wear the Thai bathing suits like in the back. This one, however, the way that it clasps in the back relieves all that pressure. And not only does it relieve the pressure from your neck, but it relieves like your shoulder pressure. It's amazing. It's so comfortable. Um, the back is kind of cute. It's open. It's sheer. It does have this little sheer bit here. I have to tell you when it's on, you don't really like, it's not super obvious. I have the in purple as well because I bought another one. And in that one, it is, you can see through it a little better, but this black one, not so much. It covers your butt. It has this thing here. So flattering. It's the most amazing bathing suit ever. Highly recommend it for, I can imagine it working for everybody. Another suit that I have, which, uh, my body is not bathing suit season. It's this one. It's from Target. Um, what I like about it is it too. It takes up so much flipping space though. Look at the size of this thing. Um, it's ridiculous how bulky this one is. And it's just because the cups are formed. Um, but the way that it works in the back, if you could ever figure this out, it's like a maze. Uh, the back and the seriously why does this always have to be so difficult okay the way the back works and looks it also it crosses low so it's like low down your back so it um wrong side uh it's very comfortable it's very very comfortable to wear so if we go hiking somewhere where there's going to be like a swimming point i can throw this on and i should bring shorts <laughs> that are comfortable to wear that don't cut in um anyways i can throw that on and be fine I did bring a sarong though to go around it because that way you're just more comfortable. You feel like you can walk around in it. Um, we will be in a kind of a beach town for a couple days. So that's why. Anyways, that's how I'm packing. So all said and done, right, I'll scoop it up. There is the underwear and a couple pairs of socks as well, but all said and done for like two weeks. Oh no, I'm losing things. Two weeks. This is what I'm packing. So not too bad. It'll only fill up half of my bag so I'll have room for shopping or just enjoying a light bag um I will have a carry-on that has my laptop and whatnot because I can't go away and not work uh I couldn't imagine going on a trip and not working on the trip it's a really crazy idea uh but yeah I'm gonna get that packed up and I'll show that to you guys as well anyways this is a really long video I will oh there's my pair of socks that I'm bringing I'll talk to you guys later <laughs> and underwear of course but I wasn't going to try to pick all those up. Bye guys.